Hello people and welcome to yet another random Quake Aftershock level. This time around we're checking out Quake Tricks by Stow. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like a totally non-test level-y name. Well, that, that's brilliant. Test level ahoy. So yeah, let's see here. Cute Tricks, as you see here. Um, already done Quake 102 much, much earlier than that. So as you see, we're definitely kind of getting through most of this list. We kind of like end up doing something kind of alphabetical. And oddly enough, it lined up exactly with um, chronological, um, a lot of the alphabetical stuff. So yeah, we kind of cut through a lot of the alphabetical random garbage that's thrown about. So um, yeah, we spawn here. Now, now we're in somewhere else. This opens the first floor. First door, okay. Interesting. That opened the first door. And we just opened the second door. Brilliant! We opened two doors! What do we do with these two doors? No idea. Maybe we drop into the pool of water? Guess that's what we do. We drop into the pool of water and we see a button. Ooh, button. Only two more to go. Okay, we're, we're playing Bun Hunter. This should be fun. Only one more to go. Oh, wait. There's, there's a way up there. Oh, God, I'm drowning. Quick, up here. Looks like this is opening up. It just keeps opening up. Ooh. Nail traps are dead. Oh, God, nail traps. Didn't realize there were nail traps there. This is just keeps opening up and opening up, doesn't it? And there are movable platforms everywhere. Oh god, that, I totally missed that platform. Okay, let's do this again, now that we kind of have an idea what we're doing. So we fly through this. Yoo-hoo! Get me through here. Quick tap platform. I don't know where this is leading. I don't know what this achieves. But by golly, I'm gonna... I got... Okay. Platform! Platform was flying right at me. That didn't really go as planned. So now we just need to not die. Okay, so there was somewhere. Wait, can I like shoot that platform? No, I have to hit the button. Let's hit the button. What they do? Sounds like I'm opening something up. Ooh. What's this do? This leads back. I see, and that caused a bridge to appear. Quick, hunt to this. And across the valley of death and pain we go. Where it stops? Well, nobody knows except me. It apparently goes here. Whereby we're in some other area. Interesting. I still have yet to find any of the enemies. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, that looks deadly. How, how does one avoid this? Owie! That, that hurt! But I'm still alive! How does one avoid that? I need to figure out how to avoid that. Is it like how you do it in like, um... Episode 4, whereby you, like, jump. And, like, if you jump over the trigger, it doesn't kill you. That's basically the logic of E1M4 and whatnot. Wait, what are we saying? E1M4. Uh, that really didn't work out for me. I'm saying, um, episode 4, specifically, there's, like, E4M8. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. So, yeah, E4M8 basically had... A certain trap that basically insta-killed you if you did not, like, jump it right. And this seems to maybe be something similar? We shall see, won't we? So basically, you want to do this in, like, succession, whereby you press this. This opens this up. You basically go in a loop around. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. Okay, platforms all over the place. 
So I'm just staying on this platform, not, not messing it up. No, no, bad platform, bad platform, don't kill me! Play platform is trying to kill me, people! Yeah, don't, don't stand on the platform too long because it will try and murder you! What a terrible way to go. Um, okay, so we have this crusher up there. I'm down here. It doesn't want to trigger. No! Yeah, so it's not something I can, like, just trigger by walking near it. So, yeah, you have to, like, jump over it. It's the only way I can think of. This is also endure it somehow. Which means I probably should have had more health and probably taken that time I actually made it through. But, you know, why do anything the simple, easy way? So yeah, if you basically just jump here, you can like come back over, get to this platform that's over here, and get right back. So it's a lot simpler to just jump, jump into that platform and going back instead of being crushed by the platform there and having to take the whole loop around. So um, yeah, now we'll try and play. Well done, Owie. That hurt. Evil trap. Curse you. Curse you, evil trap. I really like to figure out how to avoid that. Let's see here. Oh, and confetti and death. Gotta love it. So yeah, that's basically that, people. And that's how you basically complete the level and kill everything. And this leads to E1M8. Okay. Really random choice. But yeah, this isn't really, um, like... The problem with this particular level is that it's not exactly a campaign level. It has a level that's a chore, and it has technically enemies in it, but the enemies are just die upon completion. They're like confetti, just like um how E1M7 has it. Which, E1M7 is a campaign level because you have the boss battle against Jathon. Here, you don't have that. You basically just have some geometry to navigate through. It's mostly just designed to be a test level. It's a different mindset. So, what am I doing this time? Why am I back here? Because I want to figure out how to get past that crusher trap. You know, it feels like that crusher trap kind of got in my way, and I, I really want to figure out how to like, get past that. So what I'm going to do is actually activate God Mode, so it doesn't like keep killing me over and over, so I can actually like experiment with it. I really, I already completed the level normally, so I don't really have to worry about that whole legitimate thing. Oh god, thank god for that too. Because my, my platform just decided to abandon me. I don't know what happened there, but it decided it had enough of me and wanted to get rid of me for some reason. It, it, it just decided to snuff me out for some reason. It was really weird. But okay, let's figure out freaking figure out how to get past this. Not like that. Well, uh, Okay, so it's, yeah, you basically rush towards it, it tries to kill you, you move back, owie. It's basically like how E4M2 kind of works. Basically, it's somewhat trapped that one. Wait, no, I have no clip on, that's not going to help me. So basically, you want to run towards it, like that, and now basically move through it when it goes back up. So, owie! So let's redo the level, and this time I'll actually avoid it. Just to show how it's done. Might as well use the nail gun ammo. There's no real use for it besides here. Like that that's literally the whole point of the point of this. Stand over here until you're ready. And a little bit of damage never hurt. Easy enough to, to avoid it by what's it thinking. Jump over. Ah, uh, that's it. Hurt me. Wait for this to lower. And now we can get across. No, 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 no! Bend over it! Bend over it! Bend over it! Bend over it! The elevators are working against me, people! It's where these platforms just want to kill me. Everything's just trying to kill me here, people. Everything's conspiring against me for some reason. Okay, so there we are. That's how you basically avoid the nail traps right there. No! No! Bad! Bad! Over here! 
Okay, now we're on the elevator, but it's gonna try and kill me. So we want like move off this, move over here, jump on here. There we are. So you see, if it wasn't for the lava, we wouldn't have even taken any damage in this level so far. But that bloody platform decided to push me off into the lava. I'm really having bad luck with that. But yeah, you basically want to move forward. There we are. It's like you have to really like inch it your way forward. You don't want to move too forward and have it kill you. Basically just want to inch it. And there we are. Completed it. With, and if I didn't fall into the lava, we would have done it with perfect health even. It avoided all the deadly traps. So much better of how to get here without really dying too horribly. So yeah, that, that's basically that level. Um, just a bare bones test level. Um, did offer some little things here and there, like um, the confetti from E1M7, definitely different. Um, and some different little random things. But at the end of the day, it's really another test level and an onslaught of random test levels. And so yeah, just another level to add to our um, lengthy Aftershock campaign. <laughs> you know, if you can't tell, we're kind of really getting worn down. We're really like running through way too many of these. So it'll definitely be nice when we kind of hit the end of this, which we're getting very close to. We're, we're, we're almost there, people. So with that in mind, that in mind, thank you all for watching, people. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all next time.